Hello people around the world, welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Leverance Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, don't forget to check the description below in your guys about my two books, Warning This View, First Edition, and Warning This View, Second Edition. These are both available on Amazon. So this book has already reached out around 292,000 people around the world. Then, the ministry that God called me to do since 2008, book marketing and the... My preaching, my uh, leading people, lots of people to Jesus Christ. I mean, this ministry, I have already reached out around 500,000 people around the world. So, by putting seeds to their heart, those will never go in vain. So, I only put the seeds as what you are called to do. Put the seeds and let God grow the seeds that you have sown in their heart guys so that's what we are supposed to be to uh we are called to be the light and the salt so don't worry about those who are not gonna listen to you because according to the bible many are called but few are chosen so let god deal with them but then guys I'm going back to this box. I really encourage y'all to check out my book. If you would like to know how Jesus Christ delivered delivered me from addiction, from mental illness, from from all the pains that I went through, like domestic violence. Uh, how Jesus Christ delivered me from my ex-husband who tried to kill me with a samurai sword and loaded pistol gun. You'll be able to, you'll be able to find out how Jesus Christ uh, has done a lot of things in my life. He can do that to you too as well if you want him to. So guys, these are my life's testimonies. So if you would like to be encouraged, if you would like to be warned because I have included in these two books about the prophetic dreams that God Jesus Christ called me, I mean, give me the dreams, sorry about that. He gave me dreams about hell. He gave me dreams about heaven. I saw him face to face. I saw nuclear war. I saw World War III. I saw lots of people try to save their lives. I saw lots of people got locked out in heaven's door so guys don't take this warning for granted because all warnings are written here in this book so the the dreams that he gave me those are just confirmation that those things will happen in his time so jesus christ is coming very very soon get ready for that day because whether we like it, whether you like it or not, you will stand before God. And he, we will all going to be judged in this, in his words that are written in this Bible. So, check out my book if you would like to in this channel. Otherwise, you can uh, visit my page that is www amazon.com slash author slash adrenal leverance guys you do not have to read my book my books are not for everybody so it's these books are not for you maybe it's not for you so you don't have to read it but this book whether you like it or not this book i am going to encourage you all to read your holy bible read your bible if you would like to be part of God's kingdom in heaven, then read the Bible. If you would like to know, um, if you would like to know His promises, His purpose, His plans for your life, read your Bible. If you want to go to heaven, read your Bible. But you don't have to read the Bible if you don't want. To. If you want to follow your way, then go your way. But without Jesus. According to the Bible, you will go to, you will end up in hell. All right, guys. So then, last but not the least, that I have been prompted to 
tell you guys that I've been posting. These are God's words that I've been working on. So these are my third book. So I really encourage you all to check your notification if you would like to be encouraged. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But then if you want to be encouraged, as I have been encouraged by the Holy Spirit every day, so check out your page in Facebook page. That is W. If you are my friend, sorry about that. If you are my friend, then check out your my post. If you are not my friend, you can check my link. That is www.facebook.com slash Adrenal B. So guys, I have a word for you. That the Holy Spirit spoke to me last July 7, 2022. It was last year. So this is God's word letter A. So the title of this message, make an effort to build a great relationship with God, with your spouse or friends. The word says, if you have a very important appointment like a job interview, an important date with your spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend or a play date with your friends or just an important important hangout with your friends, you don't want to be late. It means you need to make an effort to make them feel like being valued and respectful to them. Especially during a very important job interview, you don't want to arrive late to the appointment, otherwise you're being late is a red flag from the employer not to hire you. So you must plan and wake up early to be there at the very important job interview at least 10 minutes earlier before the appointed time. <laughs> this is the same thing with your walk with the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. If you want to spend quality time with Him, then wake up early to have a great conversation with Him. If you value your job interview, you should value Jesus Christ more than anything in this world. He is the Almighty God, the all-powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere God. He can give you so many favors for anything you do like getting that job you applied you should not miss any God's words for you that day to get his blessings encouragement and favor favors upon your life but if you decide to set him aside don't care about him or you will put him as your last option then don't expect him to bless, favor, and encourage you that day. You're just wasting, sorry, sorry about that. You're just waiting for his curse upon your life. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, again, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek him first, his kingdom and his righteousness and everything shall be added to you. You have a very important date with the Lord every day before you start your day. You don't want to miss his great love, message, blessings, and favors for your life. So guys, this is an lib. So the title, guys, was make an effort to build a great relationship with God, with your spouse, or your friends. So, we also need to value our, you know, the, 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 the time of other people. If we want a great relationship with other people, not only God, or with our, with our spouse, you make an effort to it. So, you can plan ahead. You know, you don't want to be late. You don't want to, you know, because... If you're not making an effort, do not expect that your, your relationship will grow. So the trust issue is the trust. Trust is very, very important in any relationship. So if you want your relationship grow, then you make an effort. What do you have to make an effort? 
the other one will not gonna make an effort so there's no way that your relationship will grow but if you want to flourish your your relationship then you're gonna you're gonna you know you're gonna do something about it all right so that's the same thing with god all right so yeah that's the word guys so if you have not received jesus christ as your lord your god and your savior today's the day of your salvation don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you all you have to do is to repent invite jesus christ as your lord your god and your savior and then promise him to follow him for the rest of your life you can pray your own Again, you can pray your own simple prayer or you can pray along with a simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer or you prayed your simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But... If you refuse to believe Jesus Christ is your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, this is a warning and invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.